We've been making our way through the crystal clear blue-green waters of the Abaco Islands. The Abaco Islands lie in the northern Bahamas, located about 200 miles east of Miami, Florida. We're trying to take our time and explore the beautiful islands and white sand beaches, but we know we need to move quickly because hurricane season is fast approaching. Half a cup plus two tablespoons, same thing. Half a cup. One and a quarter teaspoon. One I love teaspoon how they're so precise. And, and I know, it's just too good. How much? <laughs> one tablespoon and then one, one teaspoon. Tablespoon. We're making a two pound what? loaf, evidently. Will that hold that? Three and three quarter cups of bread flour. All right, so I just, I'm putting it, do I, don't, I don't need to mix anything. You sure it's this what we're doing? Three and three quarter. Three, three cups and then. Three quarter of a cup. And then a qu three quarters. Three yeah. and three quarter. Three cups and then three quarters. Yeah. Oh, you put all the ingredients in there in this order and then you need it. But there's one that don't have holes in it. Well, I, well I'm doing the best. I'm just trying to level this off. Is the yeast we have rapid rise yeast? Is it what it's supposed to be? Johnny making bread. Let's do this rapid white bread cycle. We don't have that, so we'll, we can still do it though, I guess. So what kind of bread are we making? Beer bread or are we making white bread or? On it. White 17 bread. minutes. What's it doing? Oh, it's Why is it making that sound? I don't know. Do we have enough power to it? Yeah. Is it knocking it? It's neat. It's neat. Huh? I didn't. I thought we had to knead it. Was it neat itself? That would be a benefit of a brand maker, but you just plunk all the machine. You just plug. I don't think it's locked in. See, there's something down inside of there. Oh, that's supposed to be churning it? Let's pause it for a second. Should you read the instructions? We're missing something. There's a piece that goes in here that connects to that. Was it not down in the bottom? What? It's like a blender, right? It's down at the bottom and like turns it or something? I don't think we're missing anything. Seven, kneading paddle, removable non-stick paddle. So we might have to knead it ourselves, I guess. And it's not down in there? Sad face. Should've bought one new. Making bread, and we're on the way to Green Turtle Key. It's three miles away from where we were. We were at Man Jack Key. About to unveil the bread. How's it looking? Is it, is it up to the top of the... No, it's not up to the bowl. I mean, I think it's supposed to be bus yeah, flowing. It's supposed to be bus flowing. Alright, I'm gonna turn the light on. Make sure the light works. Mm -hmm. I haven't set up the siren yet, but I can set it up. Okay, are you sure you want to enable the camera siren? Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. John, you want the first piece? Yeah. How long 
Oh, and butter. Oh. It's so hard. I can't even bite it. It's so hard. It's like a doggy. Yeah, eat the inside. Oh, it's hard. Hurricane Dorian was one of the strongest Atlantic hurricanes on record, and the strongest hurricane to have ever hit the Bahamas. What is that? It's kind of slug. Dorian hit the Abaco Islands on September 1, 2019 as a Cat 5 hurricane, causing flooding and mass destruction. We dingied into New Plymouth, Green Turtle Key, and were beyond pleased to find quaint, colorful buildings and old settlement-sized roads throughout this little town. That looks like Jack's fossil he found. Yeah, but it ain't small. We walked the town and tried the undisputed original Goom Space Mash from Miss Emily's, toured a gift shop, and got some ice cream for the kids. Uh -huh. Eat ice cream. Yes. We made our way south to check out the famous swimming pigs of No Name Key. This key is also home to Big O's Bar and Restaurant. It had a great atmosphere, a swimming pool, beach, volleyball, and games for the kids. It's also where the pigs hang out. <laughs> Daddy, you drink? He's drinking. Give me some Let's water. Let's go find another pig. Let's go. Everybody got their life jackets? What's going on? Why is the washing machine on its side? The original hose, which is plastic junk down here, wore a hole in itself. And trying to replace it with this marine grade hose and kind of frustrated because I had some fittings that would help me attach this easier to the washing machine. Can't find anything in the boat because we just throwed everything in the compartments. And Daniel did. Daniel just threw everything in his compartments. That was the hole. Started leaking. Now, oh, honey, no, <laughs> gotta lift with your legs. Leave them, Johnny. Where are my zip ties? I don't know. I only know there's some in that bin. I seen some in that bin. I'm trying to. <clears throat> All right, I'm pushing. It's it's gone as far as. You were like the yellow tape. Yeah, it's stuck on the yellow tape. Not really. It's not coming. It's still stuck. Oh man, that was tougher than I thought it would be. Are you done? I mean, no. So, what are you doing right now? Nothing. Don't fall off the boat. I'm gonna add a little build pump to the unit. I'll find it filling up with water off and then we have to find a way to get it out. We got a battery in our dinghy, and hopefully we won't have a battery, so it works good. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, it's stuck. Daniel was able to wire in an automatic bilge pump and route the hose over the transom. We have loved this addition. We spent time strolling at one of the most beautiful beaches I'd ever seen, located on the south end of Green Turtle Key. It's just one of those places that you keep taking pictures of. The water is so clear and blue, it almost doesn't look real. We liked this beach so much we went back the next day with our snorkel gear. We kept seeing broken parts of sand dollars on the beach so we assumed we would be able to find sand dollar snorkeling, but we didn't have much luck. Where did we come here to find? Sand dollars, but we found sea biscuits. Even with the beautiful backdrop of the most perfect beach, the day was not had without a few meltdowns. Jack has had high hopes to sell paracord bracelets on the beach, 
but we have had this piece of paradise all to ourselves. Jack, tell me what you got there, bud. That's super cool. You trying to sell them on the beach, huh? There we keep going to dessert. Well, that's okay. That's okay. We keep going to deserted beaches, don't we, babe? It's perfect. It's perfection. What are we looking for, John? We keep finding sea biscuits and we're looking for sand dollars. I found the smallest sand dollar on ours. And that one's perfect. We spent one night anchored in front of No Name Key before heading south toward Elbow Key the following day. John, good job. Good job, John. <laughs> What's going on here? We're sailing machete. I'm just worried about Starlink falling off, losing it. I mean, it wouldn't be the worst thing, but it'd be hard to get another dish down here. Well, I would just like to get it unplugged and then I can fix it whenever we get somewhere and get stopped. Well, honey, you're not going to be able to reach it from right there. Yeah, I think I could press that button now and get it out and just pull the cable out. Just let the cable hang. and. Let me go look at it again and see how secure it seems. Oh. Well, we don't have wind instruments. I mean, what else is going to mess up? Surfing on a wave of good feelings. Well, it's just another Friday in paradise. Uh, we're on our way to Hope Town from No Name Key. We we're going to put the sails up. It's kind of been stressful because we had to go through the wheels, uh, key cut. We lost our wind instruments. Uh, Starlink's about to fall off the back of the solar alert, kind of way. So we made this motor because we got enough to worry about motoring. Uh, and the wind, we don't know what the wind's doing. Other than looking up, we don't know how fast or anything. We're just motoring along, headed to Hope Town. Wind instruments cannot be seen. Everything else seems to be working okay. Shallow in here, Dan. Yeah, a little too shallow for me. I tell you, everybody's standing in line for the 
soon as we anchored at Elbow Key, Daniel saw a monster fish in the water and tried to go after it with his spear. Is that a whale? Is that a whale? No, baby, that's a fish. You see what happened? Yeah. Kinda. Ain't been the easiest spot to fix, but it's dangerous. We dinkied into town to check out the red and white striped lighthouse. The Elbow Reef Lighthouse remains the only active and manned light station in the world that has not been electrified. The lens is hand wound by a keeper and fueled by kerosene. Oh my gosh, it keeps going up and up and up. Oh my word. <laughs> oh my word. This is crazy. Best one house we ever Yes. It is insane. It is so scary. Stop. You're just scaring me. Oh, there's a boat! Go! Okay, hold on. Oh my word. I really don't want to go. Pete. Look at me go. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, I see a boat. I see it. I see it. Look at her. That's not our boat. Mom, look, there's dinghy. For dinghy. We climbed the 101 steps to the top of the upper balcony and coast-to-coast -coast views of Elbow Key was our reward. There's machete out there. How'd y'all like that? Y'all go back in. Can you see the light? Yeah, but it says keep out. Okay, yeah, definitely don't go in there. What do y'all think about being in a real lighthouse? Oh, yes, guess the chef's scared. Wait, where are we going next? Hola. They don't have oil, guys. Hola. I have a Kalan pie from this place. It's supposed to be famous for. And hamburger buns. Because I'm going to make coffee drinks for a day. I don't know if this bread expired when it's 12 99 
For school, we had our kids write an essay on the history of Elbow Key and the lighthouse. Uh, newly independent USA. All right, let's sit down and listen to Jack. Elbow Key is eight miles long. That was great, Jack. There's two of them. Oh, yeah. I know if I jump in, I'll take off. All right, he's coming around this way. Thank you for 